Football is one of the most tiring sports in the world, and strong fit is one of the main attributes for a successful career of a player. Many famous players can boast with quite a powerful shot, but some of them can kick the ball with so much power that it flies with the speed of a very fast car. In the history of football, there have been many goals scored with such a powerful shot. So today we're going to tell you about the footballers that possess the most powerful shots. The most important factor for making this list were the goals scored, but we will also show you goals that were very close to making it in our list. But before we start, try and answer a question. Which player holds the record for the longest goal in the Premier League? Asmir Begovic, Frank Lampard, Tim Howard, Xabi Alonso. Leave your answer in the comments. And now, we get started. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, 128 km per hour. In the 2013-14 Champions League group stage, Zlatan Ibrahimovic scored four goals for PSG against Anderlecht. UEFA named one of these goals as the best in the group stage and as one of the most powerful shots in history. After a cross into the box, the opposition defender cleared the ball with his head and it came straight to Zlatan. So he made a shot on the volley and the ball flew with the speed of 128 km per hour. Let's make some calculations. Zlatan was at a distance of 27 meters. The ball went into the net in 760 milliseconds, which approximately makes it 35 and a half meters per second. That is the same as 128 km per hour. Alexander Aliyev, 131 km per hour. In the Under-20 World Cup in 2005, Turkey faced Ukraine. There was a young and promising player among the Ukrainians, Alexander Aliyev. Throughout his career, the midfielder was renowned for his powerful shots, and most often he scored from set pieces. But his goal against Turkey was truly incredible. Alexander approached the ball to take the free kick 40 meters away from the goal. The player had a run, made a shot, and a second later the ball hit the woodwork and flew into the net. What is more, all these 40 meters, the ball flew in a straight line. Victor Vanyama, 135 km per hour. After Karius made a sloppy clearance, the Kenyan was the first on the ball and kicked the ball with such a power that it almost tore the net behind the German goalkeeper. The ball went into the net in half a second, reaching the top speed of 135 km per Besides, this goal was named as the best Premier League goal of February that season. Dear friends, if you like the content we're posting on our channel, Please support us and help us reach 5,000 followers. For that, please like this video, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you. Roberto Carlos, 138 km per hour. In 1997, the match between Brazil and France confused a lot of physicists. The problem was the free kick taken by Roberto Carlos, who seemed to break the laws of physics. Carlos was to take a shot from 35 meters. The Brazilian made a long run and with a shot of incredible power, sent the ball into the net. The thing is that Roberto curled the ball in such a way that Bartes could only stand in a goal and watch the ball flying into the net. The shot was not only beautiful and technically complicated, but was one of the most powerful in the world. Yebo and Trezeguet 154 km per hour. Yeboa scored many beautiful goals while playing for the Picos, but the goal against Wimbledon was especially pretty. It happened on September 23, 1995. Tony brilliantly received the ball and made one of the most powerful shots in the history of football for that moment. In 1998, when David Trezeguet performed at his homeland for Monaco, he was lucky to score a great goal against Manchester United. Trezeguet kicked the ball on the first touch and it was stopped only by the net of the United goals. Steven Reed, 189 km per hour. The record of Yeboah and Trezeguet was broken by the Irish defender of Blackburn, Steven Reed, in a match against Wigan in 2005. When Blackburn was in the attack, 
The Wigan defenders cleared the ball and it flew straight towards Stephen Reid. The defender made a run and sent the ball straight into the top corner of the net, almost making a hole in it. The keeper was in shock when he realized that the bullet could have hit him. Some fans even joked that had the ball hit the keeper, the Irishman would have gone to the prison for a murder, as the ball reached an unbelievable speed of 189 km per hour. Ariane Robin, 194 km per hour. The fourth place belongs to the Dutch winger Ariane Robin. In 2009, Real Madrid and Borussia Dortmund played a friendly match in honor of the 100th anniversary of the German club. After the Dortmund defender cleared the ball from the penalty box, Ariane Robin was the first on the ball and shot on a volley with a phenomenal speed of 194 km per hour. Days later, Ariane was signed by Bayern Munich. By the way, recently we've posted a video about the clubs that increased their values during the last season, so make sure you watch it after you're done with this one. Lukas Podolski, 201 km per hour. Lukas Podolski was known for his powerful shots. In the World Cup 2010 in South Africa, the Germany national team was not yet destined to win the title. However, the German forward Lukas Podolski set a personal record in that tournament, demonstrating the world his powerful shot yet again. In the match against Australia, he managed to kick the ball with a speed of 201 km per hour and it went in through the goalkeeper's hands. This was the first time in the World Cup history when the ball surpassed the speed of 200 km per hour. Rony Eberson, 210 km per hour. The Brazilian footballer Rony Eberson is known for his many goals scored from free kicks against various teams. In 2006, when performing in the Portuguese Premier League, the midfielder scored a goal that broke Steven Reed's record for that moment. The player was playing for Sporting Lisbon and went up to the ball to take the free kick. The player made the run and hit the ball with such a power that spectators didn't even realize how it went in. The ball reached a speed of 210 km per hour, setting the record of the most powerful shot in football for the upcoming five years, until September 13, 2011. Hulk, 214 km per hour. September 13, 2011 was the day when the most powerful shot in the history of football was made. The player who took that shot was a Brazilian with the name of Givanildo Vieira de Souza, or just Hulk. At that time, he was playing for Porto, and in the Champions League match against Shakhtar Donetsk, Hulk approached the ball to take a free kick from 33 meters. The Brazilian put so much power into that shot that the goalkeeper reached the ball but was unable to parry it away. Alexander Ripka saw the ball very well and controlled the area preparing to make a save, but thanks to the speed of the ball, it just flew through the goalkeeper's hands. Hulk sent the ball into the net with a speed of 214 km per hour, and nobody has surpassed Hulk's record yet. Dear friends, at this point we're going to tell you about the shots that were no less powerful but didn't make it in our list. Cristiano Ronaldo's goal against Porto was indeed powerful, but it reached a speed of only 105 km per hour. The Brazilian midfielder Paulinho scored a goal with a speed of 108 km per hour. Michael Bollock's goal against Austria that flew in with a speed of 111 km per hour. Phil Jagielka's goal against Liverpool, 112 km per hour. Angel Di Maria's goal against the Germany national team, 120 km per hour. Patrice Evra's goal against Bayern Munich, 124 km per hour. Schalke's Brazilian midfielder Naldo's goal against Dortmund that flew in with a speed of 126 km per hour. Ronald Koeman's goal against Sampdoria in the final of the European Champions Cup, 127 km per hour. Dear friends, which goal surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments. See you soon.